I'm holding in my hand what is billed as the first consumer light field camera. What this allows you to do is to focus after you take the picture and you can see right away that this doesn't look like a normal camera. I'm going to intentionally take some pictures out of focus and then we'll go in and see what it looks like. What would you say is the number one selling point? I think it's going to be uh, focus after the fact. Because focus after the fact means that you can get your pictures with the right focus, of course, but also they'll find that on the camera, it means that you get a really fast response. So you click the shutter, instant shutter response, it takes the picture right away because you don't have to wait for it to focus. Why did you decide to make a product as opposed to mm -hmm. license out the technology to a Canon or a Nikon? Yeah, uh, the reason is that this is a transformational technology that needs a transformational product to bring all the benefits to the consumer. And if you look in the camera market today, things are very incremental, right? 10 megapixels, then let's do 12 or 14. So we wanted to bring the full benefits in a hardware and software together, and the only way to do that was to make it ourselves. So if one of those big camera makers decides to get in this game and create their own light field camera, is it going to be incredibly difficult for them to emulate this, or is this something that, that they could do? Light field technology is the future of cameras and future of photography. And I think we're going to see uh, just an explosion in this out in the world. And we welcome all of that and are looking to build a really big ecosystem. This is a very big market, an enormous market, and we think it has a lot of room to grow further by plugging true innovation back into the market. Talk about the cost of the camera. It comes in three models. There's an electric blue and a graphite. They both have eight gigabytes of storage, and uh, pricing there is $399. The red hot has twice as much storage, 16 gigabytes of storage, and that's priced at $4.99. So Lytro clearly has something innovative here. I think people who love gadgetry, people who love creative photography, may want to buy one of these devices. I think long term, the risk for this company is, will they awaken the sleeping giant? Will someone like Canon or Nikon go into the space and steal Lytro's thunder?